Hi, um, this is Nick from No Regrets and I've got my mate Ken Drews, a former PGA Touring professional golf player and I'm going to have a, we're going to find a bit of meet and greet about Ken because he's been doing a bit of work with us um, as we've been putting together our golf performance uh, workshop and our uh, course that we're sort of about to release. Ken's going to give you a bit of a background on his playing days and then how he's sort of evolved into becoming a Czech performance specialist himself and really valuing the importance of like doing um, weight training and stability training and conditioning within the gym to improve golf instead of just getting lessons. So I'll give you a, here's Ken. Thanks Nick. Well, I um, started back in 1994, I started my traineeship, uh, turned did it up in Queensland for three years. Uh, I got a scholarship at the Institute of Sport for my last year um, in my traineeship. So I got to meet some wonderful people at the AIS, Ross Herbert and Ramsey McMaster, and spent a lot of time with those guys, Dennis McDade. So I learned a lot from those guys, and I went out and played for 10 years around the world. Um, mostly in Asia and Japan, um, and also Australia for about 12 years. Uh, went to Canada, played the Canadian Tour for a couple of years, and it wasn't until about four or five years into it that I started playing really well and won my first big tournament, the Victorian Open, uh, in 1999. And shortly after that I won the Singapore Open, which is probably my biggest victory in 1999. And, uh, Played a ride in Japan for in the early 2000s, and um, back in Asia for four or five years as well. So I spent a lot of time on the road, and I really had to look after my, my body. And I learned a lot um, throughout that period as well, uh, and what I can do on the road with, like, say, theremins, or um, just even in parks and stuff using different equipment but after I finished playing in about 2006, 2007 I really got involved in um, golf fitness and saw the massive importance of it and because I was living and breathing it for um, 10 to 15 years and uh, then I also you know, just did more study and started learning more and more about things and come across the Czech golf specialist um, course and, you know, and that's evolved from there and uh, now that I teach full time I, I see it all the time and it's it's a massive part if not the most important part you know your body more so than anything else if you if your body can move and um, perform the way golf swing should because it's very athletic motion and puts a lot of stress on the body uh, so it's it's vital that um, you, know, you, you get on a, some sort of stretching or conditioning program um, and to look after yourself so you can play for a long time and hit the ball out of the centre of the golf club more often. That's it. So there you go. So that's coming from PGA touring professional um, Ken Drews and you know these guys and all the current players today they are all adopting and they all have their own trainers and fitness consultants and all sorts of stuff. So. The best in the world are all doing this stuff. So for someone who doesn't have any fitness training program or you're following something off the internet, it's, it's really, at least if you're doing something that's better than nothing, but you could be creating a multitude of problems and your game is never going to be as good as it could be. Just for the simple fact that it's your body that hits the ball. All right? And as Ken sort of alluded to here, you know, like he sees it every day with the people that are coming to, to get lessons from him and he can help them to a degree, but really they need to go away and work on their body to hit a better swing. So if you can get something from this video, and there's plenty of other ones we've got on our YouTube channel, if you haven't subscribed to it yet, definitely subscribe to the channel. If you liked any of the videos, please comment on them and like them for us. We'd love to get feedback on stuff that you might want to see that we haven't shown you. So um, yeah, um, thanks Ken for sharing a bit of his time and I uh, hope to see you in, uh, in our uh, courses. See ya.